Mr. President, I take the floor today to bring to the attention of this esteemed body an issue that has been on my radar since the beginning of my political career. Garbage or basura. The Philippines is facing a garbage crisis and we need to act now before it is too late. The 16.6 million tons of solid waste we are expected to produce by the end of this year is equivalent to 58.2 million cubic meters. This is enough trash to fill 23,279 Olympic-sized swimming pools. This is enough garbage to fill 99 entire Philippine arenas from the ground all the way to the top of the dome. If we continue down this current path of waste generation, the amount of solid waste we are projected to produce 2030 is enough to fill an additional 5,435 Olympic-sized swimming pools or another 24 Philippine arenas. Mr. President, it is clear that the implications of the garbage crisis are simply too grave for us to sit back and do nothing. We must take action now and to end the garbage crisis before it degrades the environment and poisons the body of future generations. The most immediate action we can take, Mr. President, is to urgently and strictly implement the five R's of the waste hierarchy. Refuse generating waste, reduce the amount of waste produced, reuse materials, recycle waste materials, recover other uses for residual garbage. Implementing the 5R requires fostering a new culture of conservation and sustainability within our household and community. Mr. President, one of the solutions to dealing with the residual waste conundrum is to diversify the types of solid waste management treatment facilities in the Philippines to include waste-to-energy facilities. These facilities have a dual function of producing additional energy and minimizing the volume of waste for final disposal. Just to reiterate, Mr. President, Philippines is facing a garbage crisis that threatens to do irreversible damage to ecosystem across the country and human lives. We, together with other agencies and instrumentalities from national government, LGU, and civil society, should practice, inform, and educate our fellow Filipinos on how to effectively implement 5 R's. There is still hope for us to solve the Philippine garbage crisis, Mr. President. However, time is running out. We need to act now. Thank you, Mr. President.